Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm gonna to be checking out some mud flaps comparing the Husky to the WeatherTech. And I went out and bought both of these with my own money so that I could do a comparison for you. Um, and I'm curious to see how they look on my truck. I know mud flaps are a very controversial thing. Some people love them, some people don't. So I'm gonna try them both out and see how I like them and see what the differences are. Both of these mud flaps advertise that they are a no drill installation, so that should make things very easy. So one thing that is interesting to note is that the Huskies are a full set front and back, but the WeatherTech is only the rears, and that's because of my running boards. Now WeatherTech says that they can't uh, fit a mud flap up front if the running board is within two inches of the wheel well. Um, if you have uh, running boards that are further away than that or don't have them at all then they do have a set that does fit for you um, but in my truck unfortunately the set that they have for fronts they say doesn't fit so we'll see if the husky fronts fit and uh, unfortunately i don't have any front weather text to show you now just by looking at them you can tell there is a clear difference the husky is on the left and the weather tech on the right and you can see an obvious difference in the way that these are going to mount so we're going to see uh, how both of these fare, if one's easier than the other or if they both work well. So let's get, actually let's get the WeatherTech installed first, since that one uses just a rotating clip design for its attachment, and the Husky uses uh, an adhesive strip. So we'll do that one, we'll do this one first, and then we'll do the Husky. The WeatherTech uses this little locking mechanism here to clamp onto the fender liner and it seems to work pretty well. I couldn't find any instructions, um, but you don't really need them. Once you kind of do a test fit, you'll figure out how it works. It's pretty simple and I'm gonna show you. You do have to remove a couple of the factory uh, fasteners like for here, because um, they don't include any, any extra pieces. Although their website said there would be some spare parts in there, um, apparently for this model, they didn't include anything. So we're gonna take some factory pieces off and then get these installed. So the first step to installing the WeatherTech is to apply a paint protection film or PPF that they include. So the first step of that is just gonna to be to clean the general area with an all-purpose cleaner. I am using Simple Green just because it's what I always use and I've got it on hand. Use a nice microfiber cloth to clean the area. Then you'll take, they say 70% isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna use some alcohol prep pads like you might have in a first aid kit, okay. And then you'll need a mixture of dish soap and water, and that's gonna be the slippery uh, kind of substance that allows you to uh, fine tune where you place the paint protection film. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this black push fastener here and there's a screw underneath. And we're gonna remove both, both of those and then those are also gonna screw in or attach to the WeatherTech mud guard here. Okay, so my paint protection film has dried. I've got all my fasteners out. So now I just gotta install this. And the way this works is you kinda, it's got a lip right here that you have to line up just like that and raise it into place. And then this is a four millimeter Allen. And then simply reinstall those fasteners that you took out from earlier. So unfortunately, the screw that goes down here is not long enough to engage the threads on that clip. It's just not gonna happen. So that's gonna make this a very hard recommendation to make for the WeatherTech because without this screw, this is pretty loose. So I'm gonna keep working at it, but if I can't get it to work, I can't recommend these because that's just gonna to be too, too unsecure. 
So for installation of the Husky, there is some extra hardware that they include to make it a little bit more secure. And I think this is going to give it the, the leg up over the WeatherTech because they actually do include a longer screw for that exact spot that I was having trouble with on the WeatherTech, as well as some extra hardware. So let's go ahead and get it installed. So Husky also includes some paint protection film, but since I've already got the one from WeatherTech installed, I'm not gonna go through that process again. The first thing they're gonna have you do is install some clips. Where you'll be putting a screw in instead of that push pin from earlier. Install of the Husky is not quite as complicated. There's just a simple peel and stick VHB style tape. I would clean this again because again you are using adhesive. I cleaned it earlier for that uh, PPF for the WeatherTech so it's already clean. But this goes on simply just by pushing it in. Now you remember, this is the spot that I had trouble with the weather techs, but Husky has included a much longer screw because clearly they knew this was going to be a problem area. There's also two spots on the mud flaps with these lines that mark where you can apply some spring clips that they've included if you want. There's also a spot here for an additional screw like this if you want to do that. That does require drilling, but it's optional. I'm not going to do it because this is already pretty sturdy. So guys, what do you think? I'm personally gonna give the win to the Huskies. I kinda like the look overall a little bit better, but the problems I had with installation with the WeatherTech is gonna push me towards the Husky. If WeatherTech had included some additional hardware like Husky had, it would have negated all of the issues, but Husky is the only one that included the hardware and that solved all the problems. So clearly for me, Husky's gonna be the winner. Compared to the WeatherTech's design, where it kind of changes its pattern halfway down, and in this very obvious screw hole, I'm not a fan of the design uh, from the rear of the vehicle. I think they could have done a little bit better. I think Husky won in the appearance category and in the installation category. So that's just me. Although I know some people don't like mud flaps at all, and some people require them. So I would like to hear from you guys. Do you guys? prefer mud flaps or not and if you have experience in wintry environments let me know because this is only my second or third year where I'm going to be in a winter environment and that's not anything I've ever had to deal with before so in your experience do mud flaps make a difference for wintry environments where you've got all that road grime and salt and all that crud off the road so let me know what your experience is and should I keep these mud flaps on my truck post your answers to all those things in the comment section down below and thanks for watching guys make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more videos just like this i almost forgot the front mud flaps for the huskies remember the weather tech didn't have fronts but the huskies did and here i've got them all installed they look pretty good i will say that the installation of the front is not as smooth or reassuring as the backs but that's mostly because I have the fender flares and there's limited attachment options for trucks with these fender flares so what they have you do so what they have you do is they have you use two of those clips on the front as well as the there's two strips of adhesive on this one there's supposed to be a third spring clip down here and they give you an optional uh, deal to push in there and now what I've done is instead of using their plastic plug I've just removed the factory screw and then used that. Now this does require drilling. Remember they said no drilling required. This is an optional attachment so that's how they get away with that. Although I felt that this was a necessary attachment point because I wasn't confident enough with just the adhesive and these spring clips to hold it on. So now I've got a factory screw in there and that's definitely going to hold it in place and it makes me feel a lot more secure about those staying on there. So it looked pretty good.